What's up, everybody, and welcome back to our Emergency Attention Force series. Alright, we are here in London Mod. It has been a while since we've been here, so I figured we'd come back. And hopefully I remember how to deal with all of this. Ooh, there's a... We got a motor vehicle accident. Oh, boy. Let's get, uh... Get fire on scene. As I was told, I, I did look at the comments before I, uh... Started doing this again. But, ooh. They've got a couple of paramedics. We're gonna probably... Let's get them both. But I was told in the comments that for... Motor vehicle accidents... A, uh... Fire truck was called on scene. Along with the fire chief, not really sure. Well, we do have the officer's car, so we'll, we'll we'll get him over here as well. Looks like we might be missing a vehicle, so we're going to get uh, the crane over here as well. And uh, let's see, we might need a diver team too, so we need to find where the divers are at. And this, I never can remember with all these trucks. Mm, that's the station manager. Not really seeing a diver. Asmat, firefighter. Yeah, I'm not seeing, uh. Unless it's under, like, a specialty. Hmm, because there is two vehicles. It says it's showing two. Where? Well, let's do this. Let's get the, uh, let's get the boat in. Over here and see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Ooh, look at it. There it is. There it is. wonder why we didn't have one for the uh, fire station, though. That's uh, very interesting. But everyone's now coming on scene, as you can see. Our paramedics are on scene. Along with our fire department here. And we also have our officer as well. Or the, uh... Oh, he's the, it's the officer's vehicle, but station manager. So hopefully that'll do. We're actually going to move this vehicle. Just to be on the safe side, we're going to get a tow truck here as well. And we probably should get some police around here to try and handle some uh, some traffic here. So we'll block it off over here and over here. Police boat is here. Let's get the diver in the water as well. Let's just have him start searching around if we can. It shows another victim, but I just, I'm not really sure where that, I mean, it's got to be in the water here. But I'm just not seeing where it would be around here. Not seeing any bubbles in the water. Oh, wait. There he goes. He must have found it. He must have found it by himself. So that's kind of cool. At least I'm thinking he found it by himself. Yep. We've got a uh, we got buoy. I wish they would have put more lights on this uh, boat, though. That would have been kind of cool. But we're going to get the diver back to the boat. Let's uh, bring the boat in just a little bit closer for the diver so he's not swimming that far. Try to make it a little bit easier on him. Alright, this guy's ready to go. Let's get him off to the hospital. Let's get another ambulance to roll out over here as well. And uh, these guys are here. Let's get him out. Let's get the officer out. And let's just have him uh, redirect over here. And we're just kind of waiting here. It's gotten kind of foggy. Let's get this officer out as well. Have him redirect over here. The crane is now on the scene, so let's get him to pull this guy out. Wow, he's going to do it from there. Go get him. Let's move this guy down. Let's. There we go. Just want to make it look prettier. We're just waiting on the tow truck to get over here. We're going to call in a second one. I didn't realize how long it took for these uh, tow trucks to get here. I really can't believe this guy was going to go that far. He should have should have moved him closer. Should have moved him closer. Let's get the uh, forklift out of the way here. Not really sure how this all happened. I guess we're going to find out when we see what the vehicle is that's uh, in the water here. Just going to keep police boat on scene for the time being. And look at that glitch. That's a weird glitch. He put the uh, cargo on and then he's going away with no cargo. That is interesting. All right, here's the uh, vehicle. We're going to need a firefighter to uh, get the get the shears here, so that way we can uh, open up this truck. So it's a good reason. Good thing we had fire on scene. Uh, look at this. Look at that. Look at this glitch here. How funny is this? 
We have a floating forklift. That is so crazy. All right, whatever. Not going to judge it at all. Uh, the ambulance is ready, so let's get it off to the uh, hospital. Here, and then let's get the... Uh, there we go. All right, we can uh, get the crane out of here. Man, this forklift. It's going to be a crazy all episode. And I don't think we're going to get this guy. So we're going to have to call in the uh, coroner. Or actually, can... I guess it don't matter. I guess... Uh... Yeah. I guess that does not matter. Maybe the uh, ambulance here can actually then take... Yeah, they can. So we don't need a corner in a London mod. That is my mistake. It has been a while since I played this mod, so there's going to be a little bit of getting used to for me as well. Now, that, that one went okay. That's really weird. Let's uh, clear all these people off then from the scene, the as everything is clear and good. So, thanks a lot for your help, guys. We'll get you guys back in your patrol cars, and uh, we'll send him back to the uh, HQ. No need for him here. And uh, we'll have him just patrol the area. And we'll have him patrol as well. The only thing I want to get is a... Uh, is it these ones that get the... Yeah, the police officers. Yeah. I want to get a couple of police officers around. Because I believe these ones, if I am correct, get uh, guns. Now, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But I think that's how it is. Like, the road patrol units... Do not carry guns. So if there's an active shooter in the area, you basically have to wait for uh, the actual police to arrive. Anyhow, so I'm not like not 100% positive, but if you guys know, obviously let me know in the comments. You know, like I said I do know some about the fire department stuff just because of comments in the uh, comment section. We'll put this guy just like I don't know. I kind of wanted to put him like right over here. There's really nowhere to park vehicles in this mod. Or at least on this map, I should say. But, we'll just park some around. Let's get, like, I want to get one, like, up at top. If I could. Uh, somewhere up around here. Let's see what's going on around here. Like, having one, like, right here where the tow trucks come, come from is cool. That's also where the ambulances come from as well. Uh, is up in this area. Alright, so that's taken care of. We should be getting our next call soon. Which, I'm going to say, like, 75% is going to be a fire. Just calling it out with this car. Oh, like a little Jeep. It's like a little renegade Jeep. It's kind of cool looking. There's police. Watch out, buddy. So, one of the new things I want to do for 2016 here is, uh, at the beginning of each month, I want the to. We got a bomber. Arrest and take him away. We've got a bomber. You also need to extinguish all fires and, if necessary, treat any casualties. All right. Hopefully, it'll get there. I need to find which one is the bomb unit. I'm not really sure. Armed response. Negotiator. It's definitely not a uh, negotiator. Armed response. Oh boy. Where's the? Uh, which one is the bomb? I know I probably passed it. Guarantee. There he is. There he is. It is up here somewhere. There it is. They're not going to be here in time. I can just guarantee it. So we're just going to call out. We're going to get four trucks here. We're going to get another four here as well. And we're just going to tackle this. I just know they're not going to be here in time to be honest. Alright. Yeah, handcuff them. It's interesting that they didn't handcuff them. Oh, I heard a choo-choo train. I heard a choo-choo train. Yeah, see, but I think the road patrol units wouldn't have been able to uh, cover that. But not 100% sure, but I don't know if we're going to get this just so far on the map. I guess it's kind of like a toss-up, though. Like, if we, if we have them increase the time it takes to be able to get to the bomb... You know, then you could basically always get to the bomb. Shit. 
Damn, where's our fire units? Well, I knew that was gonna happen. Now we've got an office. We got a got a unit down. Ah, man, I knew that was gonna happen too. But like, if we have them increase the time, that's basically you're always guaranteed to get to the scene on time. But at the same time, it would also make it somewhat more realistic. Uh, we need to create a quarantine zone. We're gonna start from over here. And uh, dang bomber. You're gonna get it now. I mean, we're just waiting on fire here. Here's fire, fire. Look at all these fire trucks coming. This is why I call them early, because I don't. Know, you guys have seen my London series here. If you haven't, I'll post a link for you guys. But the fires just rage so fast in this mod. It is unreal, unreal. But fires now on scene. Let's get these guys kind of spread out and have them start tackling stuff. We need to kind of try and be somewhat careful where we park these units too. They catch fire like really easy. And we're going to have so many people here. I wonder what this this mod's going to do. Hopefully it doesn't start glitching out on us or anything. Because of all the units I have over here. But you can just see all this stuff is... All this stuff's going to create an issue. Uh, Alright boys, uh, hook up. this guy over here we need to get this firefighter out of here as well get, the, get rid of that subsidy we don't need it don't need it let's get these guys out all right have you guys hook up as well all right have you guys hook up at least when they're hooking up they can get it taken care of let's get the doctor out and uh no don't go to headquarters let's just stay here um, I think we have, yeah, we can get this guy here. We'll let the doctor get him. That's good, I like that. They're tackling it, we're tackling it hard. Oh, there's another car explosion though, that's not good. But at least the doctor's there now, handling things. Let's try and sneak this unit in down here if possible. I don't know if he can sneak in there. It might be a tight, tight little fit, but he might get in there. All right, boys, can you can we start moving in on this fire? Uh, same thing here. Can you guys start moving in? Let's start moving in here. Let's try and tackle this. Let's try and get this house. Now, be nice. We can try and get this house. Try, just try and try and try. It's all we can do. Alright, they are, they didn't make it this far. I'm not really sure, like, where this is going to, or could possibly even spread to. But, let's get these guys in. Uh, if you, hey buddy, help out with the houses here. There we go. That'll be good. I'd like to get another unit over here. Yeah. Let's get him over here. And then we'll have these guys get fire extinguishers to try and get this back. That's how we're going to do the back for now. Um, just until we can't reach the uh, fires anymore with our hoses. But should be good. We're just, I don't think this unit's going to be able to get back here. To be honest. I'm just not positive he's going to be able to. And these guys not pick up the areas. We'll get him out of here. We're going to keep the medical guy on scene. Not really sure where that, uh, that other fire truck didn't come. I need these guys to put out this tree though, would be nice. Put out the tree. There we go. But they were able to tackle the front here. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know if they can get the back as well. It's not 100% positive. Uh. Let's have these guys take the, all of theirs off. And let's try, let's get these guys out of here. We don't need you. We don't need you. We, uh, we overcalled on this one, prep. definitely. Definitely overcalled. I think they got that guy picked up. I can't tell. He's not in the, uh... Let's get all these guys out here. And now let's have them drop their, uh... 
drop their fire hoses and get fire extinguishers. And then once he gets his, there we go. I'll have them uh, move to the back here. And try tackling this. I mean, that fire really can't go anywhere anyhow. So it shouldn't be too, too bad. It's just a matter of setting everything out. Let's, I said to go back to HQ, didn't I? Like, what are you, what are you guys doing here? It's another guy. Let's get him. Let's get that taken care of. Do these guys need help with this house? It's like, oh, like, you guys, not really sure what these guys are doing here. All right, since you're not really doing anything, I'm going to have you put your down, grab a fire extinguisher. And then we'll get these guys back here. There, that's another guy now with a fire, extingu with a, uh, fire extinguisher. So that'll be good. And all of these, those guys are all cleared out. Let's have these guys put away their hoses. And then I think we'll grab them maybe as well. Maybe not. These guys are doing pretty decent back here. Not going to complain. Not going to complain. So anyhow, before uh, this whole s big scenario took place, I was talking about uh, some changes I'm going to do for the channel. And uh, at the beginning of each month, I uh, plan on taking and creating like a, almost like a thank you video for all the people that uh, subscribed on um, the previous month. I think it'll be good. And it's kind of like a way for me to at least let you know that I, sh you know, I appreciate you guys' support and that I also know like what you guys are doing, you know, like I, I pay attention to like people that subscribe or people that make comments as well. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. It won't be like a long video or anything, probably a couple minutes at most, you know, just thanking all the people and listing obviously all the subscribers for the previous month. So let me know what you guys think in the comments if it's something you guys are definitely interested in. You know, if enough people say it's not something they want, then I won't do it. Um, but if not a lot of people uh, say it's a bad idea, then I'll do it. And then you guys, once you see that first video, you guys can uh, make your choice then if it's still something you want after that. But that's one of the other changes for 2016 here that we are making. It's kind of a big year for us. We're also on Twitter now. You can check us out at iVision Gaming. And, uh follow us there I post updates on you know other let's play videos that might be series that might be coming back or we're gonna do some polls through there as well that way everything's kind of all unified and in one place obviously I want you guys to follow um, to try and keep up on everything obviously you don't have to follow you can always just come back you know and check out the uh, Twitter page and, and see what's going on as well without following but you know, I'm going to post game deals on there as well for everybody, so if you guys miss something, you know, if one of the games that we play goes on sale somewhere, I'll obviously post post that information for you. So, definitely a lot of changes. we got some new games here in the next month or two that we're going to be playing, starting up. So that'll be exciting. We're finishing up our uh, construction Let's Play series as well. Uh, we should be done with that series by the end of the month here. And uh, we started a new one at the end of last year, World of Warships. So if you guys haven't seen that, definitely check that out as well. It's another good series. Um, it's a different series than, than this type of stuff. So at least give it a check, you know, see if it's something you'd like or not. Why does it still show? Check whether people have been injured hmm. or fires have broken out. All right, it says we have a fire. I'm not really seeing the fire. I am seeing the fire and I'm seeing contamination. I am seeing contamination. That is what I see. I see contamination. Let's clear this. We're going to need hazmat on scene as well. Oh, it's not really a fire. It's more hazmat. Lady, you need to stop right there. Mm -mm, lady, you need to stop. Halt. Halt. Do not come any closer. Halt. All right, let's get hazmat on scene. Oh, let's get hazmat. Hazmat is arriving. We're gonna get hazmat. Just kind of set up base over here. I did see a hazmat unit in the uh, there it is in the ambulance section. So we're gonna get them down here as well. We basically need to let this clear. 
Uh, and let's get another vehicle over here. Another police unit. Let's have them block off this area. We're, they're obviously not going to get here in time for that victim. So he's kind of in a bad spot. Oh, lady, please don't come close. Don't leave, though. Don't leave. All right, the fires are all... Well, no, they're not all out. Thought they were all out. But let's start clearing these uh, vehicles here. They're no longer obviously needed. No longer obviously needed, so let's get them out of here. I did. They did get blocked off here, so that's kind of good. I'm just waiting for uh, Hazmat to arrive on scene. And then we can clear them and go. And let's get them out of here as well. And let's get uh, let's get these guys to clear up here. And let's get this guy in his vehicle. Is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. And then these guys can go into this vehicle here. All right, Hazmat is now on scene. So let's hey 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 get over here. And I think we can get them. Let's put them in this one. And that should take care of that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got another person because I wasn't paying attention. Halt civilians. Let's get this one here to deal with the traffic. And we'll have them deal with the traffic there. So that'll be good. Where did our hazmat person go? Like, hello, grab that person. Get in the vehicle. Alright, so we got two hazmat vehicles on scene, so that's good for us. Hopefully... Alright, that person's taken care of. Uh, should we get another vehicle? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Where are you going, mister? Alright, looks like the, uh... For the most part, this is kind of... Whoa! Whoa! Fire! Fire! Um... Wow, no one, uh, no one called out the fire. Nobody called out the fire. Well, at least we got units on scene for the most part. I can't tell if it's contaminated yet or not in this area. It definitely has to be. I mean, this is, yeah. You can see it now. Yep. Yeah. Hazmat, these guys aren't going to be able to go in. No way. Yeah, definitely not. Could you pull out, guys? Pull out. You're not going to be able to go in. We're going to have to get Hazmat in. Hazmat's going to have to do some firefighting stuff. So let's, uh... He's a Hazmat firefighter. Yeah. Can they not get hoses, though? That's interesting. Hmm. Can they not get hoses? Let's do it this way once. Let's clear this engine of everybody but hazmat firefighters and then let's see how they can respond though i don't know if we're gonna be able to find out this episode guys it's kind of getting oh hey that... oh boy get out of there get out of there before that blows get out of there before that blows now we've got a bunch of units now that are uh, not good not good at all Let's go. Did someone contaminate over here? Like, why is this, uh, what's going on over here? Oh, boy. This is just becoming chaos. <sighs> First, it started with this, uh, the floating. It's gone now. The floating forklift is gone. Interesting. There's no more floating forklift. Alright, but this is going to do it for this episode, guys. You're not going to be able to see what's going to happen here. It's not going to be pretty though, I don't think. But thanks a lot for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a great day.